topic and beyond that is the topic that will be discussed today. So now let's see what is the meaning of work environment. So the work environment is used to describe the surrounding environment of an employee in which the employee operates on a regular basis with regard to his job responsibilities. The work environment can be composed of three environments, namely physical environment, social environment and psychological environment. Physical environment comprises of the physical atmosphere where the employee physically present. What about social environment? It is the uh, policies, practices and the management of the organization. And psychological environment, it is like the values, culture, aptitude and attitude of, his, of the employee as well as his peer group. Now let's see what is fatigue. Uh, fatigue can be described as a factor which decreases the capacity or efficiency or ability of a person to carry out the work because of the previous work. So it is also defined as the general state of an employee resulting from continuous work mentally as well as physically. So now let's see what is boredom. It is boredom can be explained as the lack of interest towards the work or lack of aptitude in the job. So it is always associated with an emotional uh, distaste and is accompanied by corresponding attitudinal outlook. Now, what do you mean by monotony? It's a state of mind which is caused by performing repetitive tasks. When an employee performs same day, every, every day same task when performed by the employee, it leads to monotony. Now, industrial accidents. So, an occurrence which interrupts or interferes with the orderly progress of work in an industrial establishment can be termed as industrial accidents and which cause bodily injury to a person which makes him unfit to resume his duties in the next 48 hours. So, this is the explanation given by Factory Act of 1948. Now let's see what is industrial injury. So an injury caused by an accident or occupational disease which arises out of employment and would entitle the employee to compensation under the Workmen Compensation Act of 1923. Employee safety. It is related to the protection of the employees or workers from the dangers of industrial accidents. So what is grievance? Any dissatisfaction or a feeling of injustice that is prevailing with an employee towards his environment or towards his workplace, which can be brought to the notice of the management. So it, it can be registered to a particular department. So that department will take care of the grievance of the employee and there is a procedure to handle the grievance of the employee to find out a solution. So what are personal records? Personal records are the records pertaining to the details of an employee of the organization. So this will be usually kept with the human resource department in an organization and it will be helpful to the manager to make decisions like increase in pay or uh, promotion, transfer. So with regard to the organizational policies and decision making, personal records can be used. Thank you.